Hello, this is Mark with the Fury Flight Control Project. Right here is our Fury F3 board. I'll give you a quick little overview of what each little wire is and tab. Two things to note, these are solder pads right here. So you don't want to get your soldering iron too hot. 200 degrees works pretty good for that. Also here's your plug for your USB port. Might be a good idea to put a little hot glue around there to make sure that it doesn't come loose if you're pulling in the connector in and out. Just make sure it doesn't go in the holes. Alright, just an overview. Again, we've got a USB connector here. Here's where our VBAT is. Connectors, these four, I'll go over that, what they are. Also where you can plug in a, a Polulio regulator. Here's where you're going to plug in your ESC wires. Here are your UARTs. Here's where you're going to plug in your spectrum receiver right down here at the bottom. And these are your boot pins. This big chip in the middle, that's your F3 processor. Alright, so if you're going to hook up a receiver, you can hook up a couple ways. If you're going to go PPM, for example, a D4R receiver, you've got PPMs right here. PPM signal, 5 volt ground. Boom, you're done. If you're going to go SBUS, like the X4R, then you're going to come over to the other side of the board, and these three pins, through hole pins right here, the bottom one is receive, UART 3 receive, then 5 volts, then ground. So you can kind of see they're not labeled, but they these two line up with the pads across, and then this is UART 3 receive. These other UARTs, ground 5 volts, UART 1, uh, transmit UART 1 receive, ground 5 volts, UART 2 transmit, UART 2 receive. Those you can use for OSD if you need to, or GPS or whatever you want to hook up to the UARTs there. The There is an inverter in there, so that's no problem. Okay, and then on this side, this is where you can hook your speed controller signal wires or grounds. So you've got a ground, 5 volt, signal, 1, 2, 3, 4, those are your motors, ground, 5 volts. Now you see there's a ground there, there's a ground here, there's a ground on the other side. Those are all common grounds. So for speed controllers, you want your signal wires to go in and then you want the ground. So you can either hook the grounds to any one of these pads or hook all your signal wire or your speed controller grounds together and then wire just one wire to the ground, whatever you want to do. Okay, and then this is your feedback connection here. I'm going to flip that over so we can continue. Now this is a one of our pre-production boards, so it's got the KKNF3. This was the name of the board before we went into production and called them Furies. Yours will say Fury. So on the back here, again, you've got two more ground pads, your VBAT pins, ground, then 3.3 out, buzzer plus and minus, you got your LED, some more ground, 5 volts, there's UART 3, transmit and receive, so I guess if you want to go there too you could, for your um, S-Bus, and here you've got your current sensor, RSI, and then a whole bunch of grounds, and then 3.3, and then these are for debugging, and then your boot pins. So now this is the back side of where your speed controller signal wires come in. So that's where you would put the ground wires from where your speed controllers can go there. Uh, these little solder pads right here, this is for mounting a barometer if you wanted to. All right, so if you're gonna do your buzzer, your buzzer goes here, negative, positive, boom, your buzzer's done. If you're gonna do LEDs, the LED, these, these are the WS28, 811 or 2812 LEDs that are programmable that I'm talking about. They run off 5 volts. So you need a signal wire. So there's your LED. Plugs in there. And then you need 5 volts. So you need to connect to a ground and 5 volts from anywhere on the board. Now remember, each LED can pull up to 60 milliamps lit. So you need to power your board somehow. So any of these 5 volt uh, pads is where you put your 5 volts from your power distribution board, your regulator, so 
5 volt and ground there. You can put your power in, 5 volt. There's your ground there. You got grounds over there. You had 5 volts on the back side. Anywhere you can put the power from your power distribution board and ground in. All right. Current sensor RSI, if you want to hook that up, get more grounds. All right, now this top part up here is your VBAC connection. And this pin, the second pin right here, that's ground. Let's see if I can do it this way. This one's ground right here, the second one. The third one is the positive end for the VBAT. So coming from your power distribution board directly or where your battery connects to directly up to here. So this third pin right here, right there. That's your power in, that's your ground. Then these other two pins are used for hooking up the Pulio, re Pulolio regulator. If you're gonna hook up a Pulio regulator, you can't have a regulator. Well, the reason you hook up the regulator is You'd hook up the regulator here on these four pins, right? And then the power would go into the regulator, and then it would regulate five volts out to your board. So you wouldn't need to hook up to a different uh, five volt power source. However, you can't hook up both. You can't hook up to a five volt power source and hook up to the polio regulator to have it power to board. That's just not a good idea. SD card goes right in there. And that's it. That's how you hook up basically hook up the board more questions and some fine-tuning we'll have up in the YouTube channel here and more instructional videos coming how to hook up the LEDs maybe for example show an example strip and you know how to wire in the S bus but that's basically all you got to do to get your board wired up and good to go if you want to pick up a board check out furyflightcontrol.com and we have many of our retailers listed there thank you